Hello and welcome to another edition of Teacher Talk Second Grade, coming to you with another Who Would Win book. This time we have Lobster vs. Crab. In this book, I am going to show you every single page, and the last two pages, I'm going to read them to you. So we will read the battle together and see who wins, Lobster versus Crab. All right, friends, if you are familiar with this channel, you know that all of these books are leveled. Well, I level all of these books. This is a level P. Level P on the GRL, which is the guided reading level, puts this book at a end of third grade level. So if you're gonna go purchase this book, make sure that that is a level that you can read. I teach second grade, so this book is obviously gonna be for my very highest, strongest readers. They are awesome books, and it is an absolutely wonderful way to make nonfiction come to life. So thank you so much, Jerry Pilata and Rob Bolster. You are both awesome. Jerry, what an awesome, awesome book. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. All right, friends, let's dive right in. We'll build our evidence, and then we'll read the last two pages together and see who wins. If you're familiar with this series, you'll know that we are going to learn all kinds of interesting background information on these guys. Interesting sign there saying, don't walk in this water. You're going to get a toe chomped off. Talking about our lobsters and learning information about our crab. Looks like we have several different kinds of lobsters and crabs. Meet the lobster and meet the blue crab. Got fun facts and wild facts and did you know facts, bite facts. Where the lobsters live. There you go, the northeastern United States. And where the crabs live. So as far as the United States lives, they're over here coming around Florida into the Gulf. Awesome. Lobster parts and crab anatomy. Speed, look at that. One mile an hour for the lobster versus 10 miles an hour for the crab. Hmm. Boys versus girls. Of course, our more scientific names for those would be the male and the female. Lobster claws versus crab pinchers. Interesting. Lobster claws and crab pinchers. This is, discuss this is discussing how we catch these creatures so that we as humans can eat them. Talking about the exoskeleton and molting. And more awesome information about these guys. Lobster eyes and crab eyes. Lobster terms and crab vocabulary. Weapons. Very cool. Versus armor. Very cool. Ah, here we are as humans. Are you hungry? And they mean the people, right? Big Joe's lobster. Looks delicious. And of course, we as humans also eat crab. All right, friends, here's the fight. So I will read these last two pages. Read along with me. Let's see the battle and see who would win. The lobster wants to be left alone. It climbs into a crevice. The crab wants to be left alone too. It burrows into some mud. They both get hungry. The crab walks around looking for food. It stumbles upon the lobster. The crab tries to take a bite. Whoosh! The lobster flaps its tail to get away. The crab runs after it. Whoosh! Another flap of its tail and the lobster gets away. But the lobster is hungry. It walks claws first at the crab. 
The crab flaps its paddle-shaped legs and swims over to the lobster. The lobster is patient. When the crab gets close, the lobster attacks. Let's see, is that lobster gonna win? The lobster's quick scissor claw grabs the crab by one of its claws. The lobster's crusher claw swings over and crack. The lobster damages the crab's claw. The lobster grabs a couple of legs. Now the crab can't run away. The lobster and the crab fight back and forth. The crab's claws are not strong enough to hurt the lobster. The lobster moves its crusher claw to bite a chunk off the crab's face. The crab fills with water from the hole in its shell. This is fatal. Fatal meaning it will die from that injury. The crab slowly stops moving. The lobster agrees with people. Crabs are delicious. That lobster ate the crab. All right, friends, if you're familiar with these books, you know that these have this checklist at the end. The lobster versus the blue crab. You can gain your, um, excuse me, you can use this checklist to see who has the advantage in these different areas, size, shell, claws, legs, teeth. What I have the students do in my classroom is tape these last two pages together. It might be a good idea if you are going to buy this book as a parent, and that way your student can read all this information, decide who has the advantage, make a prediction, maybe even write about it, and then they can open up those last pages to see if their prediction was correct. All right, friends, listen, if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit that subscribe button. My plan is to bring every single Who Would Win book to you, along with a whole bunch of the other book series that are a big hit in my classroom, including Diary of, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, including more books by Dave Pilkey, Captain Underpants, Ricky Ricotta's Mighty Robot, and Dog Man. Enjoy. Have a good day.